Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to write a SQL statement to create records from a record type repeated column in Google BigQuery. So in Google BigQuery, the record type repeated column will nest multiple records to a pain record to a denumerize data storage and increase query performance. And one of the struggles I've seen people encounter is trying to figure out how to create from a record type field. Now let's take a look at an example of how to create data from a record type field. Right, so here I have a table called uh, my table. And from this table, I have three fields, ID, first name, and the uh, record repeated uh, field. And if I expand the uh, address history field, so under this uh, address history record field, I have five columns associated to that record. Now if I create a blank query, and I'll insert my uh, SQL statement, and from this uh, SQL statement, I'm going to select all the records from this uh, my table table. And if we look at the output, so basically uh, from this table, we have two records, record one and record two. But if we uh, look at the address history uh, fields, record fields, we have two uh, child records associated to that record type field. So for record one, we have uh, two uh, addresses that are associated to uh, this individual. So assuming that uh, these two records are the uh, address history where the person have lived. And for record two, we have John, and we have these two addresses that represent the uh, address history. Now, one of the mistakes I've seen people do is they'll simply attempt to uh, insert the fields. So for example, uh, let's say I want to uh, create from the uh, address history that address field and the address that city field. So what most people do is uh, they will try to insert the uh, record type uh, header name. In this case, it's going to be address history followed by the count name. But if I run the SQL statement, and it's going to return an error, connect access field address uh, value with type array followed by the uh, struct data type and followed by the count fields. So to retrieve the uh, fields or counts uh, properly, so what we need to do here is we need to unpack the uh, record type fields. So from the uh, found statement, so we need to first of all insert the table that I want to uh, create from. In this case, it's going to be uh, my table table. Then we're going to use the unnest function to unpack the record type uh, counts. And I'll name the alias as address. So we can basically treat this output as a single table or a separate table. Now if I run select from ID count, first name count, followed by uh, the address record type fields. And it's going to return as a single table. In this case, it's going to return uh, four records or four rows from this uh, SQL statement. At this point, if you want to uh, retrieve individual uh, columns from the record type uh, field. So we can basically reference the uh, alias name, address, followed by the count name. Now say I want to uh, return the columns from the address column and the city column. So insert the alias followed by the count name, alias, count name, and that's it. Now if I run the query, And that should return the uh, same uh, result, except this time I only have four counts returned based on my SQL statement. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And feel free to post your question or your feedback in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.